If you're a projector in human design, then this video is for you. I have had so many projectors recently that I've been mentoring in business, and I'm realizing that they all share a very similar block. Number one, they're not following their strategy. You're supposed to wait for recognition and the invitation. What this looks like is somebody recognizing your genius, your wisdom, what you're saying, and saying, man, I want to learn from you. Now, whatever business you have that's irrelevant, it's just you showing up in your expertise so that your people can find you. If you're a projector, what you need to do, my love, is become findable. I don't know if that's a word, but make it easy for people to find you. Whatever platform you choose, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, it does not matter. The goal is for you to share your voice, your authenticity, your opinion, what you know, and then wait for people to come to you. So for you, it looks like a slow and steady growth instead of like a quick, I went viral, now I'm good, right? Now, when you lean into your strategy, it does move a little bit slower, but I want you to think about it from this perspective. You literally have this magnetism somewhere for your people is like a dog whistle they hear your voice they hear your perspective and they're taken aback and they say oh my god i need to work with this person that's how it works another thing as a projector that i find that is very very common is that you don't see yourselves you don't see your genius and i want you to realize that it's not you seeing you other people see you so when you lose sight of what you know and what you bring what are people saying about you what is the feedback that you've been receiving what is the service that you're providing that people are like oh my goodness where have you been all my life that is your area of expertise. As a projector, my love, your gift is how you're able to penetrate into people's energies and see them deeply. Not only that, but you know exactly where the block is, what they need to fix, and you've been given advice for free your whole entire life. So I want you to think of wherever you choose to show up, that is your platform. Go crazy, give advice to everybody, pick a topic that you feel really confident in and just talk about it. Imagine that you're talking to your favorite client, what would you tell them? What do they need to hear? How would you fix the problem that they're having? Give them value. Give them something that they could actually pay you for. Don't sit here and skim the surface of like, oh no, if you wanna make more money, make more sales. No, tell them how, tell them how you figured it out, what you lived through, why you believe if you were this person, you would make more money. Now, as a projector, my love, again, you don't see yourself, other people see you. So you don't even realize the gold that comes out of your mouth when you speak, so speak. Speak more often, speak frequently. If you can show up daily, amazing, even though you're not designed and you don't have all the energy, the goal is to get in front of the right people. Now, whatever platform you choose, my love, is your domain. So go really deep, show your personality. Projectors are known for putting on a mask of who they think they need to be in order to get an invitation. And to give you the example, think of someone like pretending to be extroverted when they're not is awkward. Or somebody trying to be like, uh, viral or like oh buy my stuff but like the energy is not connecting I promise you it flows a lot better when you just lean into your magic and if you're introverted you lean into that if you're very logical you lean into that because it's for your people if the wrong people are watching your content they're not going to connect but if the right people are watching your content they will so be yourself pick a platform where you give yourself permission to be all of you however weird unique or awesome that you are another thing that i would tell projectors that's really wise for them to tap into is to lean into positions where their gifts are naturally expressed what i mean by that is create a business that allows you to step into your mentorship advising counseling guidance and instead of working one-on-one -on -one and draining your energy build groups or sell courses or build programs where you're not exchanging time for money if you are going to take one-on-one -on -one clients make it a premium another thing my love is don't pick a business where you have to do all the little things you are a big picture kind of person you are here to help us get unstuck to see the best and the worst in us to give us guidance to move us forward what that means is if you're backed down by the details and you're not enjoying it your wisdom is wasted because why are you solving a troubleshooting issue when you could be running the whole company see how that works so not only do you want to position yourself to be found when people find you you want to give them a high level overview you want to give them high level advice high level picture and you want to give them advice I want you to lean into the parts of you that you're dying to let out with your family and your boyfriend and like you should be doing this and give it to people who are ready and willing to pay you right now another thing that's really massive for projectors is realizing which of your centers are lit up if, for example, your throat is lit up, you should be using your voice a lot more. Now, if it's not 
defined it doesn't mean that you can't use it it just means you have to find better ways to use it whose voice do you need to amplify who has the words that you wish you had why do people not listen to you but they listen to abraham lincoln for example maybe you can use his quotes and then add your flavor on top of that that is what's going to make your audience connect now let's say it's your intuition maybe you're a splenic projector my love your intuition is a gift lean in tune into yourself and ask what is it that people need to hear whenever you tune into that i promise you it will connect Another thing for projectors is picking platforms and services that are benefiting them. What I mean by that is how can you showcase your genius without having to try? Maybe a podcast, maybe you do a Q&A session, maybe you host a live where people can ask you questions and you can respond in real time. Pick a platform that feels aligned. If it's a blog, that's okay. If it's a podcast, that's okay. If you wanna be on video, YouTube, TikTok, sure. But how can you showcase your wisdom Give advice to people. Talk about the things that you see that other people don't see. Highlight the areas or the problems that you see frequently with the clients or the people that you're attracting and expand on that. Because a lot of times people don't know what you have until you start speaking and they're like, oh my goodness, there's so much wisdom in this person. They're so amazing. Projectors, you are one of my favorite types and I am literally so frustrated every time I see one of you dim your light or hide or pretend to be someone you're not in order to get views tap into your genius trust yourself and when you don't see yourself find people who do i will offer when it comes to business there is a little bit more that goes into it like your profile and going deeper into like what centers you have lit up and at that point i'll be making more content you can find more information here or just book a reading you don't need everything you think you need to make an impact all you need is your voice your wisdom and to follow your strategy tap into your strengths and build a business that allows you to shine as the best version of you i hope this served you today and if you have any questions leave them in the comments i might make some videos in response